A visit to Europe, the Middle Rhine Valley, one of the most fascinating landscapes, a long history back to the Romans, wine growing hills, towns of the Middle Ages, castles, sacral buildings and a deep hospitality. <music> Here, some impressions of the Rhine Valley and UNESCO heritage, significant pictures, some examples of more than 50 castles at the valley, a fascinating view to the famous Seven Castle View, describing the romantic castle Sonneck in details. Der Sieben Burgenblick, Oberhalbburg Sonneck am Rhein, Ort Niederheimbach. Der Siebenburgenblick ist ein hölzerner Aussichtsturm am Rhein-Burgen-Wanderweg. Hier Bilder vom Aufstieg von Burg Sonek aus. Folgende Burgen bzw. Burgruinen sind zu sehen. Burg Honeck, Burg Sonek, Burg Stahleck, die Ruine Kammerburg, Ruine Fürstenberg, Ruine Nönnig und Ruine Schöneck. Burg Sonek am Rhein Die Burg Sonek ist die älteste und eine der schönsten Ritterburgen am Rhein, Ort Niederheimbach. Der Steckbrief Ersterwähnung 1271 Die Verwalter, die Herren von Hohenfels 1253 und dann 1282 zerstört durch Rudolf von Habsburg im 13. Jahrhundert Raubritterburg. Wiederaufbau im 12. Jahrhundert. Im 16. Jahrhundert Verfall und 1689 durch die Franzosen zerstört. 1834. Der preußische Kronprinz Friedrich Wilhelm und Brüdern kauften diese Burg. Umbau und Neugestaltung als Jagdschloss. Im Zuge der Rheinromantik kamen romantisierende Gebäudeteile hinzu. Auffällig die Kernburg mit dem Bergfried. Castles along the Rhine, the upper Middle Rhine Valley. The Rhine flows south to north through the middle of Germany. It's over 1300 kilometers long. 65 kilometers of the upper middle portion is inscribed on the World Heritage List. The town of Rüdesheim is the starting point for downstream cruises. Not a single bridge connects both banks of the river along the World Heritage designated part of the river. 
the Rhine has served as a major transportation route for ferrying people, culture and goods for centuries. This is the so-called Mouse Tower, built in the 13th century for collecting taxes from passing ships. The advantage of being able to levy tolls and regulate the river traffic led feudal overlords to fight between themselves for influence in the region. By the 14th century, the number of toll gates in the area had reached 60. Salz Grafenstein Castle is built on a sandbar. 20 customs officers once lived within its walls. The medieval castles conjure romantic notions, but were in fact built with practical purposes in mind, one of which was to levy taxes. Marksburg Castle was built in the 13th century and retains much of its medieval character. It has never been destroyed. The castle's cannons fired on vessels that did not have permission to go by. The knights who pledged their services to the master of the castle made it their home. The dining room windows were small and the thick walls broadened out into the room in a triangular shape to ensure maximum protection. This is Reichenstein Castle, once a den for a band of night thieves who preyed on passing ships. Not all knights were chivalrous and some took advantage of their position. The castle was attacked in the 13th century to expel corrupt knights. World heritage status has ushered in a new phase for the Upper Middle Rhine. This landscape today fuels the imagination. It is a source of historical fascination.